All right, so we're more or less done with the DLC at this point, but I do have like a what the, the, I have like a looming regret, but also it's like this DLC ends with like now I think you can defeat Ganon or whatever. So like, it is a little weird to not, you know, go and defeat Ganon again, even if we did it easily uh, without any of these upgrades. Might as well follow through with that. But also, uh, I spent 150 episodes playing this game, not counting either of the DLCs, it turns out. And like, I explored a lot, as seen by the squaggles and the squiggles and all that. But, uh, and there's definitely a number of places I could explore more of, like, remarkably, there's a huge... Maybe this isn't 100% cohesive, maybe the end of this tale shrinks over time, like the snake in Snake, or whatever. But like, look at, look at this giant wedge of Hyrule Field I apparently never been to. Yeah, you know what, I think this might- I think this might not be a completely complete recap. I feel like I'm- that seems almost improbable. I just would teleport to this one tower and then go places from there, I guess. It is admittedly a really empty place that's full of, like, enemies and whatnot. Ranch ruins? That's a little curious. Oops. No. <sighs> Damn it. That's a little curious, because that might resemble, uh, some of the ranches from the previous games or something like that. But, uh, despite spending so much time exploring this game in such detail, I did not spend much time in Hyrule Castle. There's probably like a bunch more to explore around there. I don't know how much exactly, but I checked the finale and uh, it's like two hours long, but to my surprise, uh, a few things. One, I beat the game like 90 minutes in, the other parts just might, was one of my big end of game podcast type moments. Uh, and the rest of it is a uh, there's like an hour of it that's me re-watching all the cutscenes in the game back to back to for try to form it into a chronological story because you you experience them so spread out over the course of what was in my case like 75 hours of game. So when you get down to it, I think I spent like 15 minutes on this uh, entire island total before I got to Ganon and started fighting him basically. That's just very little for Hyrule Castle. Admittedly, I'm looking at it right now on the map, it doesn't exactly look massive. But there's probably more worth exploring than what I saw. And that's probably the main thing. I think I, yeah, I came on to the island once to do this one shrine, and I think when I did that, I think that's when I lost my footage. So my first encounter with this place was lost at the time then. But it, as you can see, it was only a tiny little excursion, not much was missed. The main thing is that I triggered the cutscene and then that's just a thing that's not in my playthrough. The cutscene that uh, that airs the moment you get to Hyrule Castle, which is which isn't, isn't a lot, but uh, it is like a moment. Uh, that's just not in my playthrough, because that footage just went bye-bye. That was a dick move. Let's try out the new thing. Hello. So yeah, let's go explore Hyrule Castle a bit. I have no idea how much. Don't know how much there is to explore ultimately, but probably more than I did. <laughs> Zero jump is left. How do I... Oh, right. L means the bumper. I am on a fucking motorcycle. It has a headlamp. <laughs> or head... <laughs> this thing has a headlight. Oh, okay, I can do a little hop that murders... Oh, let's kill this Boko boy. Not quite dead. Dead adjacent, really. Oh, if I had full health, I could probably sh fire lasers while on this thing's back. I have not had to craft food so far. Let's keep that going. Let's burn through my resistance items, because I don't think I'll ever use them. If I ever get into a situation where they take my armor away that helps me resist stuff, they probably also took my gear away. How do I... Oh, you hold the bumper, right? Okay. Fuck you! <laughs> the goofiest. Not very much of a jump. It's a, just the tiniest jump. They said this thing eats materials, right? Like it has a limited battery? 
Yeah, I can see the fuel gauge emptying. Oh, well, there goes my my ability to shoot beams. Yeah, it is a full health only thing, like in other Zelders. It exploded. It's gone. I've got a horse that summons. Just in time for the game to be over. It really is just for exploring. I mean, you you could have beaten that DLC and still had shrines to do, I guess. Or if you could just keep exploring for... Yeah, ha, ha I wonder how many I got out of how many there are. If that's listed somewhere. Whoop! Hopefully you can take really big falls. Okay, that's some good suspension right there. But yeah, I, I more or less believe I probably didn't spend that much time in this field. It is full of long-distance laser assholes everywhere. Just ready to ruin you. Erbosa's fury, fury is ready. But I bet this place is full of secrets. How does how do I handle water on this thing? I don't. Okay. Glad to get that established, I guess. I also spent a lot of time reading Zelda's diary last time. So between the diary and the cutscenes and so on. Surprisingly little of that two-hour finale is actually spent exploring Hyrule Castle. Well, that's what's nuts about this thing, is that after spending so much time here, there's still potentially so much more to explore. How substantial is it? I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting to hear, like, what's the most substantial thing I didn't ever explore? And kind of get that perspective, but who knows. Here's a flag. Apparently I'm counting Hyrule field as part of this. This is just out here. Probably never meaningfully interacted with this. Can I climb this? I can. How much we want to bet they hit something up here? I don't know. Is there space to yahaha -ha from up here? Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> Got some ruins over there. There's the main tower. Oh, the bird. Will probably be a little bit more of a regret. There's a few other giant flags. Is the fact that uh, I don't really know how to do Korok seeds anymore. Not having the experience of having played the many, many other hours. So I bet there's Korok seeds and puzzles to discover throughout Hyrule Castle, but I just don't remember how they work. Oh, that's just a hive. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I thought I saw- I thought I spotted something interesting there. And that interesting thing was my death! I was in danger. So these were the ruins of a ranch. This is a pretty fitting, pla fitting place to use this motorcycle. It's just so open. And there's no real verticality. This is, it's much it plays a similar role that Hyrule Fields does in other games, where it's like the ideal place to use Epona. Sometimes the only place to use Epona. It's like a vine going up here. I'm in danger. Nope. Oh god, it walks around and everything. I forgot about these guys. The ones that are actually functional, which makes them kind of terrifying. How doth one best fight this dick?
Why does he have so much fucking health? I really don't remember how to fight these guys best, I guess. One might intuitively think use arrow on weak spot, but that doesn't seem to work consistently either. Ah, cut its, cut its, cut its legs off. Is it dead? There are some chunky enemies in this game. What kinds of health? A little random horse just kind of hanging. You might want to be a little more concerned right now. Another one. You guys have a lot of health. I don't know if I really want to deal with that right now. But here's the ranch. There admittedly might not be that much substantial here. But ranches are often kind of significant in these games. Thought I'd take a look. Heard some- oh, that's just him. <laughs> if I keep moving, he'll continue to never hit me. The fool. Haha! -ha. Squirrel thought he could beat me to the acorns. This is my land. You know, this place kind of sucks, but... Oh. They're here now. That didn't seem to amount to much. I'm not sure how much the motorcycle will really play come into play in this place. It seems not... Oh, let's avoid that guy a bit. That one's also awake. It's good there's a big, expansive field on the way, because once we reach our destination, I'm not sure how much mobility we're going to have. Oh god, there are many a foe. Oh god. Oh god. Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh god. It- oh, it dissolves. Uh, I shouldn't have- I should have sprung for the non-water non dis- I've really fucked up that delivery. <laughs> I should have sprung for the non-water soluble one. It takes a while to reach this place. There's more and more layers of danger on the way in. You breach the first set of whoa, set of walls only to find another set of walls. And more and more bad news along the way. Fuck. That's not good. Okay. I'm okay-ish, I guess. Jeez. I was not ready to turn around directly into one of those guys. It's a bit like Ocarina of Time when you, uh... You go into the... There's so many of them. You go into the future and you see a place like this where it's like, Oh, it's where people used to live. In that case, they lived there like five minutes ago before the You Get Older cutscene where you time travel. It's like the worst kind of time travel, the one where you go into the future, but you also age. You just don't get to have lived that part of your life. Fuck you and your childhood. You don't get to have one. But I guess thankfully he gets sent back in time to re-age. Which is, I guess, the entire reason there's a split timeline. Like, I think the idea is supposed to be that in the successful version of Legend of Zelda where you win... In, in Ocarina of Time, I think when you win, that creates two successful timelines, both Child and Adult Link. I'm not sure if that actually checks out time travel-wise entirely, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But the whole last fountain here. A little curious about it, but I don't see anything to do with it. Did it have to load? <laughs> I was like, I'm in danger. God, why do you have to be so good at turning? Gah! Gah! I did it. In this darkness, the uh, the headlight looks pretty cool. 
All right, now bash this door open with your might. Kunk. Nope. There it is. This is a pretty cool detail. It's it's just like the... Uh... It doesn't look like it's massive, but I'm pretty sure I could have exploded more than I did. Maybe skip down to this bottom left door. I read a, I was really I was looking at the video I originally made and I think a comment said that all of my powers recharge three times <clears throat> three times as fast in this place. Huge if true. Oh, that, right over there was a waterfall if you want to use the Zora armor to get in. There might be a tad of like 0451 style stuff going on here. Or they let you explore this place by taking a number of different paths. That's kind of neat. I don't know if there's much worth getting here, or if it's just like a big complex area. That's just kind of nice to poke around in. We'll see. Oh, ice boys. <laughs> Clunk. No impact. Ah. Can I power that, or do I need to have a... Uh... A Deku Leaf, which I haven't had yet this whole set, this whole mini playthrough. Whatever you want to call it. Do I have, I have flare? I have fire swords. Ow. Dick move. Bye. You dick. There's some cooking parts. Yeah, it doesn't work so hot when you're in it. I think I can make it work like this. I might be in danger. Whee! Please keep going and don't just fall back down. Okay. Keep going. Come on, man. might be what you're supposed to do. So, made it. Only had to destroy an entire sword in the process. Hi! Wow. I broke it just on you. So where am I? So I started on the bottom, and then I looped around to there. So we're in the next cave. There's like a whole sequence of interconnected rooms, so let's check out the bottom part first. But yeah, I think why I blitzed through this place- Oh, it looks like I solved that one before. I think why I blitzed through this place so quickly is the fact that, uh... What are these? Question mark? Hard-boiled egg. I'm like, there's things I haven't found before? I probably blitzed this so fast for a few reasons. Like, one... I was 150 episodes in, and I was probably like, let's be it, let's do it, let's finish this. And I probably was kind of set in the idea of it being the final episode of an even 150. But also, like, I had solved every shrine, and I had all four powers, and I even had the Master Sword. So, like, all of the noteworthy goals were done. So that part of the incentive to explore is the fact that you're gonna- is there's a, the chance of finding cool stuff along the way in those systems. But I went into Hyrule Castle knowing that I was done with all of those things. And so like between that and the finality of it all, I might have just kind of powered through, not really having much incentive to like carefully look around and see this place and what it's like. But also like I do feel like maybe it would have been good to uh, infest further and in having this place be a place you couldn't just go through. Like maybe it should have been a bit more dungeon-like. 
Because if, from what I remember, it wasn't. Uh, it, what, you didn't have to solve it like the like, like the four beasts or like any other Zelda dungeon. You more or less just kind of hopped on and could use like Regali, Regali's veil, Re, Revali's gale, spoonerism right there. You could use like Revali's gale, just kind of skip to the end, I think. The stockades. Even now, I'm not really sure what we'll get out of this, besides just getting to see it more. I don't even know if there are puzzles or much to do besides just get to cannon. So behind this wall is the stockades, but I can't get past this cell. Which means I probably have to get in from the outside. Or, wait a minute, is this a genuine bombable wall like in the Zelda games? My goodness, a bomb wall just like in a Zelda. Ain't that interesting to find. Oh, those things. Oh, those used to be all over... Those were all over the Guardian Beasts. I totally forgot about those guys. I need to figure out how to get out of this room though. There's no openings in the cell. Ow. Ow. Hmm. Well, this guy's being a dick. So that's enough of him. But also, that might not be the most effective way of fighting him. Headshot. I'm not hitting him in the head. Kinda looks like I am. Yeah. Stuff's kind of obnoxiously durable at this point in the game, isn't it? There's a headshot. Do you open the gate when I kill you? Is that what I'm... Is that what's gonna happen here? Oh, okay. Uh... What? Why did it open and cl Huh! I don't know what causes it to open or close. Hi! You're in sword range. That's the worst place to be. Hey, buddy. Headshot. Oh, this it swings back and forth. Was he opening it with his... With his, uh, water? Ow. Fun fact, I saw a video about this. It was suggesting it to me. Uh, you can lose... The, if you lose the Master Sword basically via a glitch, like you do like inventory glitches to be able to drop it because your inventory is full, despite you already having it in your inventory, uh, the Master Sword goes into the sky. It just flies away and it says it returned. To, it, it just says on the screen, your, the Master Sword has returned to the, the uh, forest. So the Master Sword can go back, interestingly. Presumably that's what their plan was originally was that the master sword would run out of ammo like it does now and then it would fly away and return all the way to the the lost woods and you had to go get it again if you wanted it and so it it just it just flies straight up while spinning and just disappears into the sky basically and uh the interesting thing is that if you do the if you do that inventory glitchy stuff, which I don't even I have no idea to do. I only watched the video once. But if you if you can successfully glitch out the game and lose the master sword, 
that animation will play because it's still in the game, and I just thought that was really cool. The uh, it's essentially a, an error message that you should never be able to see, but it's there if you happen to encounter it. These stakes stack into one slot, but these fruits don't. That's interesting. I'm surprised stuff does, does that. I broke my master sword. What am I gonna do, Hinox? Or bone Hinox or dry Hinox or whatevs. Bing, Stalnox. You're called Stal, not dry bones. Revali's Gale is fuck you. Oh, those aren't really, that's not an effective strategy in this game. Headshot. <laughs> defeated. Not defeated. Maybe defeated? Are you defeated? Your health bar is gone now. Oh, it's back. Ow. Am I required to get one more headshot before your cannon is dead? It's kind of hard. Your head keeps moving. There we go. I think I was required to hit him one more time in the eye. Meow, 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 meow. That goofy song. It sounds like he's laughing. Do you kind of want a Thunderblade? Call me vain, but that seems kind of fucking rad. I usually like spears, but I don't know if I like the ones in this game. No! This is why I don't like you, spears. No! Yes. Admittedly, this is pretty sweet. Whee! That is a decent incentive to like two-handed weapons in this game. I could have sworn the first DLC was supposed to make my my master sword last forever. I don't know if I just massively misremember that. The Hylian's shield, a hundred and ten, a shield passed down through a Hyrulean royal family, along with the legend of the hero who wielded it. Its defensive capabilities and durability outshine all other shields. What does that mean? Does it have infinite durability like this Hyrule, Hyrule Sword technically does? There it is, that's the one. I got the one. That's the one, you guys. There it is. <laughs> well. Ain't that a find. Can't really use it with this weapon. I have to switch back and forth. Hmm. Looks like a pit, but it's sealed. Like they plastered over it. I like that I had to solve my way into here. Even if, well, it wasn't much, but I had to find a bombable wall. I don't really remember if bombable walls were an obvious and included element of this game already or not. Or if that's like a thing they did here for funsies. I don't know. I'm, this, this series is constantly kind of like semi-compromised by me, like just kind of wondering what the original game played like, because I don't really remember. Does this one affect that one, that door? No, it's just this one. Welp. Now. You played yourself. Do you like the part where you don't get to fight back? I think it's pretty rad. Oh god, there it goes. It's all gone now.
more stuff to never craft anything with. Hey, a hole. That means you could have flown into here from outside and started your journey here. There's a cool no non-linearity to the entirety of this place. Although it'd be, it'd be cooler with more incentive to explore and more actually locked paths along the way. <clears throat> I don't know, mixed, mixed feelings on the entirety of this thing, honestly. TBH. Hello. Dick. So you kind of need to zigzag through there to spot that. Unless you want to jump over that stuff. Hello. The Royal Guards Claymore. 112? That's illegal. You can't have anything in this game do that much damage. What will the what will the neighbors think? Excuse me? 112. Attack plus 40. The Shiki used the very essence of ancient technology to forge this great sword. It was designed to oppose the calamity, but its low durability made it impractical. But oh, it breaks quickly. Okay, save you for the boss fight. Do a big chunk of bo of damage in one spin. How do you even get in the cell? Can you? Oh, that wall's bumble. Oh, that's the one I saw before. And there's a chest in there. That's what I saw before. Yeah, you get. This is the enemy I hadn't noticed yet, and now he's gonna have a bad day. Oh, I blipped the wall. I've got... Got bad news. I've got bad news for you. Got some money. You know, for the person that wants to come all the way in here, but then have a return trip to the world where stores exist. No, thank you. Can you still burn webs? Zero out of ten, not even a real Zelda game, how dare you. Oh, that's how you switch. Bajoop. I'm back. I have successfully, let's look at the map down here. Where am I? Oh yeah, I'm down there. Put me on the bottom. I have successfully gotten to the other side of the uh, the debris. You can see it's one continuous hallway with from that hallway I was in before I got here, and it connects to here. So I could have gone upstairs from there, or I can keep looping around the outside of the island, which I guess I'm already here, so I'll do that. So now we're on the external version of this place, where I'm now over here. Oh, that's a guardian. So if I go straight across, there's another cave somewhere over there, so I can continue this sort of like outside radius traversal. If I'm a very sneaky boy, he won't see me. He's gonna see me. I'm gonna be really sad soon when he sees me. Fuck! Shit! Where is it? Oh, fuck! That's also bad. I don't see the door. I saw it on the map, but I don't see it in life. Here's a dock I could have landed on. Is that entire... Oh, it's not a doorway. Oops. When I zoom in, you can see they're talking about this entire cove down here is what they mean as the next interior location. Let's check it then. Oh, uh, that's where the shrine was. So this is where I, this is how I got in originally. Not in the finale, but when I was trying to get the last one building done. Hello. Whee! Just forget to feel so powerful. Isn't a battle axe a swinging weapon? 
That's like a super, oh, that's like a super, super axe. I don't need these baby axes. So you come into this cove, and then there was this shrine. I don't remember, I feel like it might have been a combat shrine or something. This dock is mostly just mean. <laughs> it's full of aggression, but not much to look at. Nope, 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 nope. There you are. Sas Kosa. That's a wee bit sus, isn't it? Yahaha? Ha? No? Maybe letting that summon to the shrine? I don't know. Is it gonna bring in a ghost ship? Like when you light the lantern or ring the bell or whatever in a Dark Souls 2? Man, I kinda miss Dark Souls 2. I played that like several times in a row on this channel and then it's, it's then none. I feel like it might have been like five years now? Four years maybe? I feel like I never played Dark Souls 2 after 3 came out. But it's probably the one I'm, I'm most interested in returning to out of all of them. Hello. Secret, secret? It's a cabinet in the way. Hello. There's a whole ass secret entrance in here. This is the Hyrule Library. I do believe it is. Is this another secret? Cool, <laughs> fuck that box. Wasn't that made of metal? I destroyed it. Master Shield's- Master Sword's back. Ooh, the walls are made of Guardian. There's some hot nonsense going on here. Why would Amber and Topaz be together? Muns, hun! That is a giant fuck you sword. That likes plus 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 plus, yeah. This is the low actually I actually have, actually have multiple flame swords I probably don't need to have. What's going on here? It's like a reveal that the interior of... I, well, that was an optical illusion that screwed with me. Uh, because the map is transparent, it can look... up. If you look at it wrong, you think it's upside down, and then you try to flip it over, and you're like, Whoa, Whoa, Ah, my eyes! Because it looks similar right side up as it does upside down. So the opposite side... So I came from the cove side. There's another side over there. There's a big library that also leads to the surface. But the implication seems to be that like old like the guardian material stuff seems to be the on the inside of the entire island. Like Hyrule Castle was built atop that shit. That makes me all curious about a few things. I wonder if they imply that anywhere else. Or if that one place hidden behind a, door, a book shelf is like this giveaway moment of like, oh my god, what does this mean for the lore? I'm right back to not giving shit about, about enemies. You're not guardians which can laser target me across the whole map. You're basically worthless. Boop. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fly away now. You be good. There's a whole exterior, once again, meaning there's probably a way to get in here from there, all sneaky-like. 
An ice blade. Don't I have one slot left? I do. There's an enemy lurking in that direction. Stop it! Yeah, I wish there was more incentive to fully explore this place. It's kind of neat just walking around it. But it'd be cool to have... more... resistance, I guess. And then things to find in the process. You like a game! <laughs> That's a lot of equipment you got there. You're on fire. That dude is on fire. Explode now. You really shouldn't have followed me. You chose exceptionally poor- oh, that's some other guy. Oh, it's the guy that- yeah, he was over here. Here's the armory. You want some gear for the final fight? You're set. Is that another Hylian shield? Can't look at it directly. Royal Guard's shield. Is that- this, this, wasn't it called something else? A Hylian shield. Yeah, I have a Royal Guard's shield here. Let's get rid of the crappy, dusty one. The royal claim. What's that? Trash. It's a piece of trash. Wow. <laughs> oh, these are really bad. Yeah, I do. I do not lack royal claymores, though. These are all destroyed. That might be an okay bow. I'll be fine. I don't need to do any wall climbing. Um. There we go. <laughs> I guess that's how Revali's Gale works. It creates a continuous source of wind at the origin point that lasts for a while, apparently. I just figured it was a boost, period. But it is, it is localized. Yeah. Being encased in the wall did not, rep did not stop you from resting, apparently. NUT! Yeah, ha, ha You found me! Nut! <laughs> My first Korok. The funny thing is I thought you were a Korok. You could still be one. I'm not altogether sure I trust it. Hmm. Get in there. Hmm. Yeah, it, occur it occurs to me that use thing on thing is not necessarily a thing in this game. I saw this as a puzzle and was like, Oh, you replaced the rusty claymore with a, a good claymore and then Korok happens. But that was not the case. But then there did happen to be NUT! directly above that guy, so, you know, I win even though I'm wrong. <laughs>